Good morning, and welcome to Living Bread Radio's Liturgy of the Word. Today is Thursday, May 24th, the Thursday of the seventh week in Ordinary Time. Today's readings are from the letter of St. James, chapter 5, and from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9. Today's reflection is from Father Ovidiu Marginian, from St. George Romanian Catholic Church in Canton, Ohio. And now, in communion with the Church throughout the world, let us lift up our hearts to the Lord in prayer and song with Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away, your clothes have become moth-eaten, your gold and silver have corroded, and that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure for the last days. Behold, the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned, you have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink, because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where there worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt becomes insipid, with what will you restore its flavor? Keep salt in yourselves, and you will have peace with one another. The Gospel of the Lord.
And now the Bread of Life, a reflection on today's Mass readings by Father Ovidiu Marginian from St. George Romanian Catholic Cathedral in Canton, Ohio. We have on, um, on May 24 the Gospel of uh, Mark that highlights a very drastic approach to being clean in the eyes of God. You know, what, what Jesus tells at that point in the gospel is if there is something over there in ourselves that prevents the grace of God from being in us, we need to eliminate that. And he, how he does it, he explains it as extreme. It goes to the extremes. If your uh, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. He says. If you know, if your eye is uh, is causing you to actually sin again, take it off. It's as I said. He goes to the extremes to explain to them how important it is for us to always have not to not commit sin in our lives. And why is it that? Because that breaks our relationship with God apart. So what Jesus tells the disciples at that time and everybody else who listens to him at that time, he tells them, you have the ability to change yourself every single day, to allow God to change you in the same time. How does it, how do we do that? By always paying attention to those details that put us always in the presence of God and eliminate the evil in our lives. Let's try to figure it out every single day how to be able to push every single uh, uh, obstacle away so that the grace will be able to change us on a daily basis. The grace at that point will bring us closer and closer to God. So everything that we do in that point will be, as I mentioned earlier, in tuned with what God wants us to do. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word is a production of the Living Bread Radio Network in Canton, Ohio. For more information on this or any of our local programs, log on to livingbreadradio.com where you can listen on demand or subscribe to any of our podcasts.
can do some strange things with Alexa. I can't make intergalactic space calls yet. We want you to use it to listen to Living Bread Radio. We now have our own Alexa skill. And all you have to say is, Alexa, enable Living Bread Radio. You're listening to Living Bread Radio. You know it's her favorite. Absolutely. Once you enable Living Bread Radio, you can listen to the live stream 24 hours a day by saying, Alexa, play Living Bread Radio. And you'll be ready for any additional features in the future. Thank you, Alexa. You're welcome. 